George Papanicolaou of Stanford University discussed systemic risk at the 2012 SIAM annual meeting. In finance, systemic risk refers to the risk caused by the interconnectedness within a financial system, where the failure of a single entity or group of entities could cause that system to collapse. In what environment is the system operating? Are there, is, is the system operating in an environment that is very, very stormy, very unstable, very prone to shocks? Systemic risk plays a part in how governments respond to financial crises, including recent economic downturns in the U.S. and Europe. We saw graphically how interconnected uh, the, the economies were and how, uh, although the, the impulse of the, of the U.S. government, of the Federal Reserve, was to, to let certain failing institutions outright fail, and they realized that they didn't have a choice but to rescue some of them because they would have caused the contagion and it would have been bad for everybody. So they had to step in. That's a very graphic instance of systemic risk which uh, called for government intervention to, to stop it, to stop from events happening that nobody wanted to happen. If you increase the interconnectivity sufficiently, then you will create more or less a stable system or at least a quasi-stable system. You will spend a long time on one state and a long time on the other you begin to see that interconnectivity, already at this level, interconnectivity really helps at the individual level. It says, just jack up the interconnectivity and you will be fine. And of course, that's precisely what I want to, to say. You don't get that, you pay a price for that. We just want to find out what systemic risk exactly is to quantify it. We want to identify situations that generate systemic risk, certain types of behaviors as much quantification as possible. We want to take it out of the, um, let's say, of the speculative. We want to put it into a full quantitative framework. We want to not only use empirical evidence, which is, of course, the, the starting point of everything, is the empirical evidence, but we want to create models that can be predictive, at, at least at first, that can be indicative of what can happen and eventually be predictive. That's a long uh, shot to have predictive models for systemic behavior. Pepe Nicolau emphasized the leading role that mathematicians must take in performing the research needed to minimize systemic risk. In, in the end, research is done by because somebody is interested in it. And you look at the participants in this, the, the, the banks are really not interested. They haven't supported research. In the last 15, 20 years that I've been in this field, they haven't supported it. They, they are the users of our research and they have benefited enormously from it. Dr. Papanicolaou hopes that economists and bankers will begin taking an interest in systemic risk research, similar to the way the economics community turned to modern finance research a couple of decades ago. Just like, you know, when modern financial mathematics, mathematics started in the early 70s with options pricing, it wasn't the economics community that did it, it was the applied mathematics community. And I, I perceive that systemic risk could take, take a turn like that.